Let your imagination take flight and join us on a journey here at Cedar School as we celebrate reading and embark on new adventures through our story time with special guest readers. As Anna Quinlan said so beautifully, books are the plane and the train and the road. They are the destination and the journey. They are home. Enjoy our story. Hi, my name is Patty Kanaswich. I'm a kindergarten teacher at Cedar Elementary School. Today I'm going to be reading you a story called There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Clover by Lucille Calandro, illustrated by Jared Lee. There was an old lady who swallowed a clover. I don't know why she swallowed a clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a daisy. She wasn't lazy when she swallowed the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a butterfly. She did not sigh when she swallowed the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. It wasn't absurd when she swallowed that bird. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on a daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was no lady who swallowed a pot. Believe it or not, she swallowed that pot. She swallowed the pot to carry the bird. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed some gold. It wasn't cold, all that shiny gold. She swallowed the gold to fill up the pot. She swallowed the pot to carry the bird. She swallowed the bird to glide with the butterfly. She swallowed the butterfly to rest on the daisy. She swallowed the daisy to brighten the clover. I don't know why she swallowed the clover, but she didn't roll over. There was an old lady who swallowed a fiddle. It is a riddle why she swallowed a fiddle. The old lady started to dance, and before she was done, a wee little leprechaun joined in the fun. As they twirled high and low, she giggled so much out popped a rainbow. Happy 